in opposition of this bill. Mr. Chairman, Andrew Goddard, Virginia Center for Public Safety. We uh, strongly oppose this bill. The um, armed defense of a compound like a school, it requires somebody to be well-trained and to be consistently on guard. A teacher is supposed to be teaching. It's not something you can just add on as an, oh, oh, and by the way, look after the school. Make sure that you shoot anybody who comes in here with a gun. It's not going to work. We need these, if we need to have armed people in schools, then let's have armed professionals in schools and not have them split their time between teaching and being guardians. And we've looked at what happens when we have some armed professional police officers and it hasn't made the slightest bit of difference. Police officers were present in many, many school shootings. And the concept that people choose schools because there's nobody there with a gun is completely not founded in, in, in law, in, uh, in fact. People pick schools because they went to that school. They pick schools because somebody they want to shoot is in that school. They pick schools for a lot more reasons than just the fact. And, and many of these people who go to schools are suicidal. They're not, the gun that's going to finish them off is the gun they have in their hand. And they know that. So just having a teacher who may not be anywhere near the situation and busy teaching as the armed guard in a school, it just doesn't make sense. Thank you. Thank you, Julie Briskman, Vice Chair, Loudoun County Board of Supervisors. Absolutely do not support this bill. It's not the teacher's job to be carrying a firearm in the school. The FBI reported between the years of 2014 and 2022, good guys with a gun, 14, stopped 14 out of more than 300 mass murder incidents. It's not going to work. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is David Hogg. I'm a co-founder of March for Our Lives and a survivor of the Parkland school shooting in 2018. We've had multiple instances of shootings where there have been quote unquote good guys on campus with large amounts of training, law enforcement officials, including the instance at my very own high school, where the cop who was assigned to my high school proved to be nothing but a coward with a gun. The best way to protect our schools from gun violence is doing it the same way that they do in every other country. It's to ensure that bad guys have as hard of a time as possible at getting a firearm to begin with. The shooter at my high school repeatedly threatened to shoot up my school multiple times, and despite that, Florida did not have a law in place that was able to disarm him. I would also like to remind the committee of what happened in Uvalde. If 300 plus law enforcement officers refused to confront a gunman with an AR-15, having more teachers with guns is only going to put students in danger. Our schools are meant to be places for playing. They're not prisons. Thank you. Thank you. Will the remaining uh, speakers just state their name, organization, and support or not? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Liddy Ballard, we support this bill. From Brady. Thank you. Good afternoon, members of the committee. Lori Haas, thank you for considering this bill. We adamantly oppose it. We know that law enforcement with the highest levels of training only hit their target. 20 to 30 percent of the time in an active shooter situation to expect teachers to do the same doesn't com doesn't work. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Susan Susan Ahern, and if a teacher can get to a gun quickly in a mass shooting, so can a student access that gun. My son was at Virginia Tech, a survivor. Um, more guns is not the answer. Thank you. I'm sorry, Mr. Chair, Lady Ballard from Brady. I want to clarify that we strongly oppose this bill. We do not support this bill. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the clarity. And I oppose the bill too. <laughs> <laughs> Moving to the online queue, uh, we have 